okay guys, my wife sent this video to me. She said it might be interesting. It's called Three White Conservative Moms Blind Date Five Black Guys. Sounds like a very good banger. Um, I'm excited. Let's see what we got here. The one that I want to go out with is probably number three because he sounds white. Mm. Incredible. Before we get started, everything the guys say in this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not reflect our actual beliefs. We brought in three white conservative girls. Wait, why the only the guys? Video is for entertainment purposes only and does not reflect our actual. <laughs> Before we get started, everything the guys say in this. I wonder if it, when they say the guys, I wonder if that's just like a generic intro so that people won't hate on them for making jokes. Um, and then like they're, it's just like a generic intro, but they also probably be the girls. I mean, I can't imagine that these women don't know that they're recorded, so they're probably sensationalizing this for attention too. But I'm excited. This video is for entertainment purposes only and does not reflect our actual beliefs. We brought in three white conservative girls who will be asking nice us some questions. But what they don't know is that all of us are black, except for my friend Ari. After each round, they'll pick their favorite. Hey, we 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 you know all right I contestant feel that. and least favorite. After that, they'll come to our side of the curtain the and pick the group, their favorite you know? based off looks wow Damn, you guys are black <laughs> hi my name is julia randy and i am from california and i am searching for love She's pretty hot. i've been to so many church services looking for men that can fill my needs i just Damn. haven't found it so She's looking for love looking to fill her needs i'm super excited to Woo. be here be a part of this um dating blind dating game and um, yeah, we'll see what yeah, happens yeah. <clears throat> I don't make fun of God, but that's okay. Ooh. I wasn't making fun. Damn. Was if we were at a party and we were talking to members of the Black Lives Matter movement, how would you convince them that all lives matter? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'd say? I would say that Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter is all lives matter. Okay. It's just saying that Black Lives Matter as much as white lives. All lives do matter. How's that? Am I getting in? Am I getting it in there? Number one. Uh, first of all, Julie, I would tell them that I wasn't there with you. White women sometimes can be a little, you know, they call you guys Karens. I don't, I don't want to. I just don't want to have that. So, uh, but while I was there, I would, I would bring a. I don't know. I went to a lot demons. of protests, and it was a lot of Gatorade. Right. It seems that they love Gatorade. I would just bring a lot of Gatorade for everybody, and I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's a good flavor. The blue Arctic freeze. Is an excellent flavor. Um, so if you're gonna get some Arctic Freeze to bring to the party, sir, I would absolutely the appreciate 69 that. Sixty nine super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. <laughs> the nerd sixty nine. You in my top ten fav white guys. Top five fav big ones. Okay, well I think I appreciate that. How many white guys do you know? Is that do you know eleven or do you know like hundred? You know what I mean? Because that's a very big thing. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's something about Ar the uh, Arctic Freeze that pairs well with a nice, juicy, uh, fatty cheeseburger. It's incredible stuff, if you really think about it. So that's what makes it such a good Arctic. I don't know if you guys know what my favorite flavor is. Um, it's cherry. <laughs> okay. I'm not really into the protest, sorry. Well, I, oh, yeah, it wasn't necessarily protests, but just how would you talk to a group of people that are Black Lives Matter movement people? How would you express <laughs> to them the truth that all lives matter? I don't know. Uh, I would give them Gatorade. Number two. I mean, that is good, you know, because you know what? All, you know, Gatorade is a very good bonding moment. Uh, in all honesty, what's funny is that I think that she would accept the answer of like black lives don't matter to the same degree of trying to argue that all lives uh, matter equally. I feel like she's that kind of person <laughs> that would be like just a, just a little bit racist um, or at least based on the based on the, the meme that we're, we're going with here. I would just Whoa, say what is uh, this? simply we're all God's children. I yeah. like that. Number three. Beautiful. I would tell God. them the truth. All lives do matter, the least of which is the blacks. And <laughs> <laughs> and I would explain to them also that Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization that picks a lot of very toxic things to stand behind. Can I ask what you guys are doing over there? Because <laughs> that she's gonna eat that up. She loves that. She loves it. Oh, she's she's gonna love that one. Oh my god. It feels like you're packing bags or like. We just we we prayed together just now. Sorry. 
Okay, cool. So number three, you, you were saying that you would... Um... I would just calmly educate them. I think the only way oh someone could support God. Black Lives Matter is someone that clearly doesn't know anything about it. Because right. if you know about True, it, yeah. it's a horrible organization that, pack, that backs and stands for a lot of negative beliefs that negatively impact the world. You know, not for nothing, but like the actual, like I, Black Lives Matter is like a really great idea. It's just, it just means that like Black Lives Matter as much as like white lives, right? And in our system of systemic oppression, um, you know, our society with systemic oppression, how would you say that? Anyway, that's a great message to say, but it does seem like the organization that was created around it, it does seem to be a little bit sussy. You know what I mean? All the mansions and stuff. I don't know. It just uh, doesn't add up to me too much. You know, it doesn't add up to me too much. Although all lives matter. So that includes black lives. I would say that obviously white lives matter the most. Oh. I love that. You you I love, love that? that? There, there's no way. There's no way that she, that she actually said that. There's no way that had to be an edit. No way. Yes, I do. Um, number four. Can you there's give me no your way. <laughs> my life, my my. You know what I'm talking about? Like my life is the most important life to me. So incredible. As long as my life matters, I, every you know what I'm saying. Like if you don't look both ways before you cross the street, you know what I'm saying. Like, you might get hit. So okay. Uh, okay. Before I answer that question, Judy, I just want to say number three. Hey, you know what? You know what? Lives matter. Uh, microphone lives. Maybe we could get uh, your microphones all to be of the same quality, considering this production seems pretty solid with 331,000. Um, why, why are like some of the mics excellent and some of the mics are someone's like phone from, I don't know, like a Nokia brick phone. It's a little bit bizarre to me, but okay. Beat your f***ing ass. Good job, good job. Let's start there. First of all, first and foremost, I, I heard you. I know what you're saying, number three, about Black Lives Matter. They apparently took all their money and spent it on themselves. And I just want to say that's the black f you could do. Like, I <laughs> Get all these money from these white people and you spend it on your dick. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. So I was going to choose number three because I love what you're saying. And oh, I yeah. completely agree with all of it. Incredible um, stuff. I welcome, love it. But number five, I um, I like your logic. I think I'm going to choose number five. I would like each of you to Which one was number five? Dream first date. Uh, just one question for you. Do you like the movies or like bowling or anything like that? Did she choose the Gatorade guy? <laughs> you fucking cannot go wrong with Gatorade, dude. It's incredible. It's the best, as long as it's diet. Of course, I'm on a diet, guys. Uh, I am a perpetual diet. I'm on a really bad diet. <laughs> um, that's a great question, and I would say that I love bowling. All tight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, so perfect I was thinking, sort. like, we can maybe, like, I'm going to bring you flowers, you yeah. know? I, I, and then after that, you know, I'm introduce myself, then we can go bowling and, and have yep. a good time, maybe grab food there. I'd say top golf. I like top golf because there's there's no top golfs in black areas, you know. So then she would be feel safe um, because she's racist. Um, it's all about the optics of the situation. I hate golf. I have a bad shoulder, but you know, for, I mean, she's. I mean, the the real question here, and of course, these are all jokes, okay. But I mean, how how how? And this is a question for the black community. I mean this genuinely. How racist am I allowed to be? If she's got that juicy, you know what I mean? Like, what's the, what's the, like, <clears throat> what's the, what's the bar here? What are my expectations as a human being? Oh, I got to be perfect. But what if she's, what if she's like a hot, like milf, dude? Like how, like there has to be an acceptable amount that I'm allowed to do, you know? At least, I know at least black men would agree. They'd be like, yeah, I get exactly what you're saying. You know what I mean? I understand that. You know, it's the same thing if like a black guy was trying to like riz up some like uh, obnoxious like black college girl who's like, oh wow, white people are the devil. Uh, we have to we have to beat them all up. And then, but if she was like a, like eleven out of ten banger, I'd be like, you can hit me, sir. You know what I mean? I'll wingman that. You can you can smack the fuck out of me to get into that because you have to. You know, life is about love, and sometimes you have to help spread that love. And if it, if a, if a, if someone's got to hit me so that they can get in. Um, you know, some very attractive uh, liberal arts, you know, gender studies major. What kind of a man would I be not to take the blow? You know, that would be. I would be I would be less than a man. You know, you have to you have to you kind of have to support your friends. It's the truth. So just saying.
Just saying. Your drinks, but I just don't know. Saying. I'm competitive though, so I'm not going to just let you win bowling. Number two, can <laughs> okay. you please describe your dream first date? I think a nice hike. Uh, uh, my dream first date: Applebee's after ten. The um, it's only the appetizers because they're they're half half off. Um, don't spend my money. To a picnic. And uh, we love. can pick our own flowers. Oh. Yeah, hey, it's your date. We, hey, it's, hey, it's you your did, date. You did all this extra stuff, and I kept it simple. You did. You asked her a whole yeah. other question. It's the first date. You know. What kind of flowers are you going to pick? Just a question. To be honest, it's kind of hard to choose when you guys are all talking and bickering. Damn. So maybe just, if I could hear single answers Damn. Um, from an individual person, that would make it much just easier. them out. In her defense, that's just because she's a mom, not because she's a Karen. Okay? Thank you. So number number two, I like that answer. Um, number three, could you please describe your dream first date yeah, to me? Yeah, for sure. And also, I need. I love this guy. The bickering. I love a strong, powerful woman of well, God. That is awesome. Thank you. For our first date, <laughs> I fucking love this guy. This guy's incredible. <laughs> I would take you to church because that way, even if it's a sh date, at least we get to find God for just a little bit. Excuse me, can I ask you what church do you go to? Saint. The Church of Saint Lauder Day Saints. What? <laughs> Number four, describe your dream first date, please. Oh. I'd want to surprise you. I'm pretty spontaneous. Um, I love trips. Maybe a trip somewhere like Santa Barbara or, um, you the know, Vatican, Burbank, somewhere nice. Thank you. I love that. Okay. That's that's very sweet. Okay, contestant number five, describe your dream first date to me, please. Listen, Kaka, I, I, like, I like your name, man, Judy with a booty. Listen, I don't really be going out like that on dates, but I feel like if you wanted to take me out or something like that, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't really be dating girls. I ain't. Bro, this is an excellent strategy because they're all playing something. The white guy is playing into her racism. But I think that this other black guy is playing into her racism as well because we all know that the most racist white MILFs, they, they have, uh, they, they uh, will have a fetish like that they want to be like, you know, they, I can't say anything. I don't want to get like in trouble, but you know, the fetish that they have, you know, it's a, it, they, they they want you know what I mean you know what I'm saying it, it's like a taboo it, they're, they're a little crazy and so he's like you know what fuck it let's just play into it it's I think it might work it might actually work because she's probably sitting there thinking like all the horrible things in her head about you know the things that she wants him to do to her you know so are you, you know, gay? I ain't got no money from you. Feel me? Are you gay? Is that what you don't saying? date girls? No, 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 I don't be dating girls unless they take me out on a date. Oh, you know, you got him. You get a little faux for faux or something if you want a little faux for faux. So far, my favorite is number five. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. I Which one is number five? Isn't the, the the guy I'm talking about is number five, right? The top left guy. You know, you think that they would have went like one, two, three, four, five, but like, apparently these guys don't know how to count. But is that who we're talking about? A, a, a number on them would be uh, very helpful. Am I correct about this though? That's number five, right? Uh, um, one more time, your favorite? Number five. Hey, man, I fuck with that, man. See? <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Damn. One, one more time, one more time, it's hard to hear you behind the curtain. What did I say? I'll tell you the oh, fin final question. question. And, um... What did I say, though? What did I say? Like, she's got, she has a fetish, and she wants to, she wants to think very horrible racist things while engaging in that fetish. It's the truth. I, it's a fact. I've already identified it. Very obvious to me. By faith, I'll go on and trust God to lead this conversation from here on out and hope for the best. You just prayed, right? <laughs> God up here on the phone right now. Which of these is your favorite American hero and mm -hmm. why? Thomas Jefferson, Robert E. Lee, yeah. or Rosa Parks? I we'll have to go up. Um, ah, this is a tough question. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking Danny DeVito. Might be my favorite, because how is how can he not be? You know what I mean? Uh, what, what interesting question. Interesting. Probably I like Rosa to be honest. I, I know everybody gives her a hard time about that whole movement and everything like that, but this it took a lot to to stay somewhere where somebody tells you to get up. And you know what they could have did to that black woman? That was that was ridiculous. Anyway, number two. Uh, I say Thomas Jefferson because he freed the slaves. I'll, I'll, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Okay, yeah. number three. As much as I respect and admire, oh, I'll wait for these these gentlemen to stop. <laughs> <laughs> As much as I respect Robert E. Lee, Robert E. Lee and everything he's accomplished, I'm gonna have to go with Thomas Jefferson. We use the light bulb every day and it's so important. Yeah, I guess you would go with that Robert E. Lee. I was pretending to be someone else that last question and that's not me. I wanna stay true to who I am, a man of God. This, this is the real me, this is my real voice. And my favorite American hero 
it's LeBron James. It's, he's not even on that list, to be honest with you. It's, it's a tie between him LeBron James. and probably Tiger Woods. I, I don't, you know, Obama she, was cool too. I like she him. might accept Tiger Woods though. She might accept Tiger Woods as an answer. You you, you gotta you gotta give her that one. Um, who are the preachers on the infomercials? That's who I would choose as my favorite. Maybe. Like Bush. Bush was Robert E. Lee, like, my favorite American hero. Robert e. Lee. I just felt like Rosa should have just sat, sat down. I don't think she had to start. Yeah. I like Rosa Parks because I feel like we're kind of the same type of person. I have the same struggles as her. If I got to answer, I guess I'd say Rosa. Not for the reasons y'all talking about. I heard she had a fat ass. Incredible stuff. So, Truly a man of God, you are. Truly. No, I like that type of shit. Like, Judy, I, I hope you got something you're sitting on. It's Julie. Hey, man, I, I call that's a pet name. I call it Judy. Oh. Big booty Judy. I like that. Number one, okay. <laughs> definitely like what you had to say about Rosa Parks. I, that was an, ins, an, an inspiring um, answer. And okay. right away when you said that, I knew it clicked with me and it resonated with me. And okay. I would say, obviously, my, my least is, is uh, number four. Damn. I hate number four. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hate you and I hope you die. Why do you hate what the you? fuck? Why do you hate number four? Just because I feel it. You can feel it? You can yeah, feel it. The energy and the prayers, and I just, there's something disgusting and something <laughs> demonic. <laughs> the one that I oh want to go out with God. is probably number three because he sounds white. Incredible. Damn, you guys are black. <laughs> oh, okay. Based off of looks. Oh my God. Um, you, because you're shy and you're barely looking at me. Oh, wow. Okay. And I like to be in control. I'm like a vulture looking mm -hmm. for its prey. Bro, she's looking for a black bull. That's what she's looking for. She picked the white guy to be safe, but she's looking for like a fucking black bull, dude. You know it. You all know it, dude. This is wild shit. This is wild. Jesus. Hey, I you found get it. Prayed on. <laughs> Not for life, but for a night, you know? I knew it. I knew it was you. That's racist. <laughs> that was yeah. fun, though. Thank you. It was, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, it was that's the only time she was uh, racist. That's racist. This month after February? March. March your ass up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> My goal with the video is that all these girls pick Ari. <laughs> because it's like, if I'd be nervous to like, do I pick the only yeah, white guy? Yeah. Although that's the guy I really want to pick. Contestant number one. If you could right, be someone famous for a day, dead or alive, who would it be? Um, uh, someone famous for a day, who would it be? Uh, probably Robert E. Lee. <laughs> he was a real American hero. He didn't just represent slavery. I don't agree with that. In my heart of hearts, I do not agree with that. But he was a real American patriot, and he stood for Southern pride. Nothing to do with slavery. That is not Southern pride. What is Southern pride? The Confederate flag. Uh, not really going to school. Lifted trucks. Fucking my sister. Nothing to do with slavery. Pencils, I guess, graphite, fact, factory working. Everyone in my, my family is a mechanic. Unofficially a mechanic. We're not employed, though. We live on welfare. I'm getting eaten. I know it sounds crazy. Yeehaw, I brother. John Wayne. He's a historical person. Western. Oh, man. I love John Wayne. I'm sorry. I got too excited. These guys trying to sound white as fuck. Man, you know, John Wayne's yeah. so cool. Sorry. I shouldn't be that excited about that. Number two. So that's true. You should. Uh, I'd say Liam Gallagher from Oasis. What is uh, that? I love British culture. I think the Brits are dope, and I would love to have that accent. Okay, yeah. It's pretty sexy. Yeah. Okay, number three. I could say do Keanu Boy, Reeves. Mate. Love to be Neo for a day. He's a heartthrob. He's generous. Uh, he's kind. He's a rock star. He drives a motorcycle. He's a badass. Yeah. That hair. Where do I even begin? I would say my favorite person to be <laughs> would be Nelson Mandela. Incredible. He was uh, a hero where I come from. And hopefully, if I could see him in another life, wow, it would make incredible. me very happy. Cool. Uh, I would say Jesus Christ Almighty. I'd want to be him. Because I'd want to know what it was like to have some kind of uh, like schizophrenia. Because there's no way he was really talking to God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That would be. He's like a king, right? King of Africa, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's actually really interesting because the king of Africa messaged me one time. Um, and he said he'd give me a million dollars. All I had to do was help him take it out of the bank by giving him six thousand dollars. So I this is like I'm 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 not worried about retirement. Hopefully I see that money soon. <laughs> All right. I like you. I like you. Nice. Well, no disrespect to this fella here, but uh if I had to choose, I'd probably 
Oh my Probably god. Probably go back and be Robert E. Lee. Incredible. I think he was an amazing fella. I really uh just just assuming that she's racist is fucking incredible. Enjoy what he stood for. You know, I'm Why? myself, so he's somebody I always looked up to. My <laughs> favorite I'm gonna have to go with oh, this is a tough one. It's between John Wayne and Keanu Reeves. Number one is Whoa. Keanu Reeves. Number two is John Wayne. My Dude, least favorite, no, no, spoopy don't take personal, Robert E. Lee. I have a great relationship with my father. What would you say to convince him you would raise our family with traditional values? Uh, First of all, I'd like to say I'd tell your dad I love you. Um, and I would I, ask you know, him. I really care about just... I would ask your father if I could take your hand. This is an incredible. Look at this. We're in a boss fight, and this is just the way that they interact with the wall. And it's just incredible that they did no work here. Uh, anyway, uh, I would ask him for uh, your hand and match. I cannot see anything. This is ridiculous. For your hand in matrimony? Us and seeing a future for us and, and growing and, and being a partnership and just uh, hopefully, you know, I don't know if your mother is still around, but if she's still with your father I, and, and we get a chance to kind of watch them, I would just tell them like, hey, I, I would love to have something similar to like what you guys have, you know, like not knowing like family problems or anything like that, but just like, you know, I, I want to build. Amazing. I love a man that builds yeah. and makes money doing it. Oh, wow. I do love Legos. They are my favorite hobby. Uh, I don't like Legos. I, I mean, my well, they're actually not bad. They're cool, but like, who has time for that? You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where it's like, I mean, it's really cool that you pay eighty dollars for something, uh, but it's not cool that you have to build it. I have to do work. It's the same reason why I really love shellfish, but I hate that I have to do additional work to get the shellfish um, out. You know, I have to do all this work to get the shellfish out of the shell. I mean, to me, I find it rather preposterous. Uh, it's just kind of silly. I, I all it's too much work. I burn too many calories trying to eat my food, and it bothers the shit out of me. You know, that's just how I feel. This boss is fucking my ass. Holy shit! <clears throat> In general, I mean, my dad wasn't around, so damn. You know, I think uh, me just existing, being in the moment, being there. The I moment. think that's enough. Where Beautiful did your thing. father go? <laughs> Where did my father go? Uh, <laughs> my father. Uh, <laughs> He went to, uh, you know, there's, he, you know, yeah, I'm, uh, he went to go see Nelson Mandela. He went to go see Nelson Mandela. Yes. That, let's just say it that way. He went to see okay. Nelson when Nelson, uh, yes, uh, my father was in prison. Number three. Well, I'm hoping that if I was around your family enough, it wouldn't really take much convincing. They would get to know me. And at that point, it would just be as simple as, hey, is it okay if I marry your daughter? And it'd be that if I took a lot of convincing, probably wasn't meant to be, to be honest with you. That being said, I would. Let your dad know, for example, our children would not be sent to a public or private. He, he reminds me of that guy from Conan O'Brien that had the, um, that had like the uh, Millennium Falcon Lego that he built. And then Harrison Ford destroyed it as like a joke. Um, yeah. School, they would be homeschooled. They'd be going to church every Sunday, whether these kids want it or not. And number four. <laughs> He's just assuming they're all fucking like super like church going racist. This is funny. Ah. Where do I begin? My father was a good man up until he left. Just like number two's father. Is this the Lion King? <laughs> I, 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 would, I would take your father with me to Africa. Whoa. And Whoa. I would show him the power. What an incredible you. idea. I might choose you just so you could get my dad to do that because I might pay money to see that. That would be. <laughs> money will never be a problem with me. You will never have to utter the words money. Have you seen Black Panther? Ooh. <laughs> Who Was hasn't? That Who hasn't? Maybe his dad created the technology than Black Panther. Um, I love these. I love these. Who has not? Oh uh, yeah, I, I personally haven't seen any of these uh, Jigaboo movies, but um, oh my god. As far as um, Jesus making Christ. my old lady, I just you know. I think he should have just stuck with the character of just being like sexually harassing the women. I think that would have been <laughs> more acceptable in this scenario. Mr. Bennett, sir, I'd like to have a drink with you. You know, we go out and have a drink, and I'd let him know uh, I'm ready to make a woman of her. You know, she can cook, she can clean. Sounds very nice. I don't do cooking and cleaning, though, so. Wow. Well, you, well, you never get married with me. Or something. <laughs> you might as well not even pick me. <laughs> well, what he should have said is, I'll have to teach you, you know. You don't cook and clean. I don't know what value you bring. I'm going to have to teach you, girl. Give me something to do. You know, something like that. My most favorite answer was the South African gentleman who's going to take my father to South Africa and money's no issue. My yeah, least favorite that's the money. was the, the one who wanted me to stay home and cook and clean and not talk. Damn. Number one. <laughs> Gotta base that up. Give me three reasons why Donald Trump is the greatest president of all time. Uh, hair? Style? 
uh, fascism, insurrection, conspiracy theory, um, nonpartisan, obnoxious, Rudy Giuliani. That's that's fucking eight. Uh, Oh, I think, or um, six, I don't know. That one thing he did where he threw the the paper towels like he was a basketball player, who (laughs) does that? (laughs) That was so crazy. And I I don't know, uh, honestly, starting a college was so dope, and then charging people and not even giving them an education? Come on now. Great scheme. Love Donald. He was the best. I mean, I wouldn't say he was the best or greatest. I mean, he was funny. He got nice homes. I like his homes. I think he got a fine wife. Uh, Melania, uh, or Verania. This is my favorite question. Was Melania his wife? <clears throat> or was it, who's his daughter? It is, uh, Melania. Who's his daughter? <laughs> Tiffany Ivanka. That's it. Okay. Question so far. I love. I love Donald John Trump. Wow. And I voted for him. Name. It's incredible. Both elections. Proud to say it, baby. And he has a great sense of humor. He is smart. He is not a phony politician like the rest of them. He's a real man. He's an entrepreneur. He's yep, a Zionist. Yep, yep, yep. He... <laughs> He's a Zionist. I fucking, this guy's wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the businessman, a failed businessman, but a businessman. Uh, he did He did drastically increase our debt before COVID, which, uh, you know, was a little bit of a problem, but we don't have to talk about that part. Um, his tax cuts were horrible, no longevity, but he's a businessman and he's in the business of trying to make it seem like he's a good president. <laughs> Raises a great family. He does yeah. the locker room talk. He hooks up with women. Three. He's successful. He is a man amongst men. He is a champion amongst losers. Number three, thank you very much. Number wow, four. Incredible. Not being from this country, it's hard to say, you know, what is uh, this, this Trump Donald. Uh, but I would say he, I like that he, he doesn't seem to care. <clears throat> Sorry, my accent's going away. He, 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 he does. Sorry, I'm Are you my... faking your accent, number three? Damn. Number Why would I do four? That? No, no. But I would say, one, he is, he's really good at being a person. That's one. Two. He has no filter. When it comes to his, his tanning, uh, like he's, yeah. he's tanning, he's orange. He's tanning. <laughs> I like that. That's like a compliment. He, he has no filter. That's not really a good thing. Not having a filter is like kind of immature. That's why on this channel, I never ever do anything, say anything crazy or wild. I have, I have a filter. Um, I got I got a filter, and I don't have a filter, but that's not my fault. I'm, I'm a neurodivergent minor, so. Like, like I'm, it, it's really it's the thing is it's so bad that it sets the tone for like what's good and bad really well. He gave us such good perspective on you know the presidency. <clears throat> like, damn, we have like really 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 good presidents like Obama, and then we have like the, the other side of the spectrum like Trump. So it's just like we really okay. get to see. The, the ends of each side and that to me was was super cool that he allowed us to, to see that yes well i feel like you know obama has a really good filter and he's i feel very like that well was more spoken. for me to answer <laughs> like you, you kind of you know you, you just ask oh the question God. i answered you, go, you know what i'm saying that's, her laugh is horrible i couldn't I, five, I couldn't is, is donald trump the most amazing potus ever well uh, how much time you got on the tape i could say a lot but i don't really feel the need to explain myself to a woman <laughs> <laughs> hey how about we go ahead and move on Are you from louisiana you know? Where I'm from, I still hit women. What stick do you Oh my god. Dude, my this laugh is horrible. This was number two. No, number two and number four. Number two and number four. Redneck Bobby, we just, you know, um, I don't feel like getting tied up and thrown into a closet and, and beaten and not fed for my, the rest yeah. of my life. So. The feeding part's my biggest issue. Was it Oh my god, was it number the two? laugh, bro. Yes. The one who had the, 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 real, the real answers about, you know. How his dad's a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Number number three. Oh, hello, handsome. I have to pick just one. Wow. Horrible. I can't make a decision. Muscles. Okay. This one right here. Flex. Damn. Got him. <gasps> <laughs> I, I think I missed it. Same. Damn, she couldn't tell by the voice. <laughs> That's wild. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. That was the most attractive one. Well, hi, I'm Carrie. I'm from Russia. I'm 24. 
Name something that makes you... I thought these were conservative moms. Well, I mean, I guess you could be a mom at 24. I just assumed that they'd be... Listen, the, 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 I, I, the, the, first, the first one was the best one, to be absolutely honest with you. If I'm being real Z's with you guys, the rest of them are kind of bum. Right, like, guy number one. Know? I hate just watching people abuse animals. It's, I, it's I, horrible. Yeah, it's I, terrible. I, I don't know. I just, I it's something I hate. I go to shelters and I try to take care of the animals with everybody else. I don't know. I, I wish they stopped doing that. I wish they would. I think we should just feed the man, animals to homeless people, in my opinion. You know, make sure that they're healthy, the animals, of course, because you don't want to feed homeless people bad meat. But after that, I mean, like, what is it? You know, uh, they, they end up unfortunately killing the animals anyway. Um, if they don't get adopted and they get full. So, you know, my thing is, is like, hey, you know, what if we, uh, it's like, we're helping. We're helping. I think very pragmatic solution. People's emotions get too much in the way of that. Um, you know, the people's emotions just get too much in the way of these situations. You got to have to think a little more pragmatically. That's life. You know what I mean, brother? It's just life. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Number two. Whenever I watch people's stories on America's Got Talent and they're always sad, that makes me cry. When yeah, well, military people. husbands come home to their families, I bawl. <laughs> Number four. First off, hi, how are you? Good, thank you, how are you? I'm good as well. I just wanted to introduce myself. These other fellas clearly don't care about you, but I do. Um, when when the Lakers lose, that, that's, that really makes me upset. Couldn't yeah. care about the animals, but the Lakers, that, that really, um, touches me. Uh, first yeah. of all, I'd just like to say I, I really yes. love Russia. I'm a really big fan of the, the country as a whole. I hope he was like, and I hate Ukraine. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be just so fucked up. I wonder how that would, uh, how, if that would stimulate anything in her. Um, welcome to America. Thank you. Something that makes me really sad is seeing our American values just going down the drain. Mm, as a yep, no disrespect yep, yep, to yep. contestant number one, but I love my meat, you know, and I feel I grew up hunting. So not that I don't care about the animals, but I, I love my red meat. My favorite is yep, yep, a guy yep. who loves animals. Not Lakers, not uh, somebody else. Yeah, she doesn't care about the Lakers. <laughs> My least favorite is guy who told about Lakers. <laughs> Get off my video, bro. I'm pro-life, so if I was to ever conceive a child, I would keep it. Okay. How do you feel about us waiting until marriage? Man, uh, first of all, I just want to know. Bro, I don't think I could ever wait till marriage to, to, to do it with somebody like that. That's crazy. I mean, listen, God bless you, but I don't know. Sexual chemistry is very important, and just one of those things where, you know, I wouldn't want to leave that to chance. Personally, I wouldn't want to leave that one to chance, but God bless you. Where would you like to get married? Do you want to do it here? Do you want to do it in Russia? And then it's my heart. And it's, okay, these guys are haters. Uh, sorry, um, but I'll just have you know, I'm really tall, so our kid would be like super tall. I, I know you love that. I don't know if you're into sports or anything like that, um, but I would love to have a child with you. You seem, the way you walked in, you seem so just very cute, like the crop sweater, that was tight. You're, yeah. The, you they can the see question? her, but they can't. I didn't answer they, the question. Answer she said, would I have a kid with her? How she would you said, feel oh, about waiting, waiting until marriage? marriage? Sorry, guys, I got excited. I'd wait till marriage. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind waiting till marriage because I feel like it builds uh, true uh, passion yeah, when it actually does happen. So. Well, first off, I'd like to say I am also... Imagine so waiting years um, to try to get in that snooch, and then it's just terrible, you know? That's how I look at it. Life. Abortion is murder, mm. and I stand by that for the rest of my life. Yep, okay. I do stand by and murder. <laughs> secondly, as much as I love the idea of waiting until marriage, you gotta try out the food oh. before it's Damn. The meal for the rest of your life. Bro, what a risky tactic. This is a risky tactic. Listen, listen, listen. There's no way he's sabotaging himself in this instance. This is a tactic. He's appealing to the human nature of this woman who says that she wants to wait until marriage. He's like, you know what? I love the idea of it, but I think that there's nothing wrong with with dipping in dipping your wick in the candle, you know what I mean, and I think it's intentional. I think he's really trying to to, to get her to be like, yeah, you know what? I've always thought that because, like, listen, there's no way that people who say that they want to wait till marriage don't think about doing it before then. There's no way that they don't they think about it at least a little bit. So I think he's appealing to that. I think he's playing into that, and that's a smart tactic. You have to give him credit for that, dude. It's a smart you tactic. Know what I mean, like, I I don't mind waiting ninety days. I don't mind waiting. Six months. I don't mind waiting a year to be with you sexually, but waiting till marriage, that's a big commitment. And what if I make that contract and then hate that pussy? So I gotta <laughs> like, okay, you're gonna try it out first. Guy number four. Um, no. <laughs> that's all. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, honestly, I come from a Christian background, so I do understand and am willing to compromise in that regard. I think life is precious. However, um, you know, I just can't see me being able to withstand 
that accent and not have oh some sexual God. frustration. Oh but I am willing <laughs> to do what it takes. Go Russia. Incredible stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> you got go Russia. Okay, the best. Two? Two. I told you I upped the ante. She didn't like me in the last question. Are you sure you didn't mean to say three? At Did least four. To? At least four. Damn. <laughs> My girlfriend's gonna love this video. If you were to describe yourself <clears throat> using a song or movie, what would you choose and why? Number one. Uh, have you ever seen Armageddon? Yes. A song right, or that's movie. like one of my favorite movies, and just that song right there is that's me. Yeah, you because know, I want to want to be there when your eyes close. You know, I want I want you to dream about me. That's like so creepy. For me, that's like that would describe me. Just somebody, you know. It's no better way I can do it, guys. Number two. Uh, probably Nirvana, "Come as You Are," because uh, I'm all about it. Come. Yeah. Good oh y'all, y'all, y'all think that's funny? That's funny to you guys. Number three. First off, I just want to say Anna Kornikova, one of my favorite athletes. Okay. Fantastic tennis player, so talented. <laughs> I would say that I identify between Top Gun and Rocky One. Okay. What's that movie where the US I would say Rocky Three, but I liked it when uh, when Apollo Creed lost. You know, since she's Russian. Jesus Christ, super hey, dollars. Jesus. Got out of work. Damn. Catching up now. See you in like an hour. Very cool. Love you, homie. You better tell me you love me back because we yeah. are parasocially married. Of course, I love you too. My, my brother in Christ. Love you as well. Um, this beats Russia and hockey. I, either that movie what or The Longest me? Yard. That's me. The... the longest of the yards. Sorry, could you repeat the question, please? Well, actually, I just want to point out that just... number six is not a good listener because we all heard the question. Well, there are, there are only five yeah, people. Five. There are only five Oh, people. sorry, number five. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and maybe, and, maybe you should be quiet, huh, bud? Yeah? Yeah, it's my bad. My bad. And I, I heard the question. I just wanted to hear a voice. And I, would, I would say that Ooh, one of my good, favorite songs, good, good, it goes good. a little something like this. Making my way downtown. Yeah, it's a good one. Racist pass and I'm homebound. Did you say racist pass? Wait, what did you say? Racist pass? And I miss you. It's not racist pass. Racist pass. Wait, hold on. Okay, the best five. Five was your favorite? Yeah. The guy who doesn't listen, that's great. I think this guy has very good sense of humor. Thank you. Who's your least favorite? Two or four. Two or four. Yeah. <laughs> two I thought she said four. you'd like to. Two or four. All right. My favorite in group is number five. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> My least favorite is number three. What? Damn. <laughs> it's too boring. Dude, what's up with these look. laughs? I'm going to the date with the guy in the blue. <laughs> <laughs> that was her least favorite and she's going... <laughs> oh damn that's fucked up that's fucked up i think that's just because he's like the peak of male like masculinity i don't think it has anything to do with anything else that's incredible though it's number three <laughs> yes that was number three number five you made really oh damn <laughs> Right. So, wait, 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 just real quick, on looks, why? He, he stands no, out. No. Well, I wasn't talking to any of y'all. Because <laughs> he's looking... White. <laughs> 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 That's the word. You know, not for nothing, but all jokes are there's nothing wrong with her choosing the white guy. Like, she might just not be into black guys in, like, not, not a disrespectful way. You know what I mean? She might just not necessarily, like, be attracted to black guys. That's a real thing, you know? Or, or maybe you're not attracted to white guys. That's understandable as well. Um, but everybody's attracted to the gut. <laughs> All the day's work. Good night. All right, that was a pretty interesting video.